Now, many centers of diversities have been recognized. To be specific, there are six independent centers of crop origins that have been recognized throughout the world. One being Mesoamerica, which covers the southern Mexico and North Central America, covering countries like El Salvador and Guatemala. Species that are known to have originated from this area are maize, beans, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, cotton, papaya, guava, peppers, sunflowers, strawberry, grapes, and avocado. I hope that you are familiar with the crops. If you are not, then you have some homework to do in finding out what are these crops. Now, the other area of or center of origin is Andes and South America covering countries like Peru, Chile, Brazil. Crops that have been known to originate from this region are tapioca, pineapple, groundnut, cotton, papaya, guava, pepper, rubber and cocoa. Now, Southeast Asia is also a large centre of origin. It covers uh, areas like uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, the Borneo Island and others. Crops that have known to have originated from this area are the Asian rice, peas and beans, yam, breadfruit, mango, nutmeg, brinjal, cucumber, banana, plantain, coconut, orange, lime and grapefruit. Now, China is the fourth center of origin. Crops originating from there are Asian rice, soybean, green gram, orange, apricot, peach, tea, cabbage, ginger, ginseng, rapeseed, chestnut, turnips, and yam. Africa is the other center of origin, Sahel regions, including Utopian highlands. Right here, we have crops like sorghum, cowpea, coffee, melon, watermelon, yam, oil palm, okra, kanaf, and brinjal. Now, oil palm originated from Africa and it is one of the largest oil producing crop. Malaysia and Indonesia currently have become the largest producer of oil palm. Southwest Asia is the sixth center of origin. It is also called as Middle East, covering a UAE, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq and Israel. Many crops are known to originate from this region, such as wheat, barley, rye, oat, lentil, carrot, radish, safflower, olive, rapeseed, walnut, date palm, almond, grape, apple, pear, plum, onions and lettuce. Now, we have basically looked briefly at the origin of crops. Crops have been distributed from the center of origin to all other parts of the world. This is because most crops can be easily reproduced 
via seeds. Seeds are small units of propagation that can be transported and carried to other parts of the world easily as it can be stored. Therefore, crops can be easily distributed. Other than crops, agriculture also involves livestock, poultry and fish. Now, they also have their centre of origin and have been distributed. Now, since domestication of livestock, several breeds or species of livestock, fish and poultry are reared mainly as sources of food and non-food products. When men migrated from one place to another, they brought with them animals to continue the farming activities in new land. But bear in mind, animals are large and huge. Therefore, movement of animals are more restricted as compared to movement of plants. However, advancement in science and technology, genetic engineering and reproductive technology have resulted in easier movement of genetic materials in the form of frozen semen and embryos. Embryos and semen can be removed and stored via the means of cryopreservation or storage under ultra low temperature of liquid nitrogen at negative 196 degree Celsius. They can then be thawed and used in breeding programs through the use of artificial insemination. Now, due to this advancement, today, same breed of cattle, goats, sheep, fish and poultry are being farmed globally. Now, let us briefly look at some cattle breeds. These breeds have been selected for high growth rate and excellent meat quality. Angus being an example. Now, Angus is a beef cattle breed that originated from the highlands of northern Scotland. Brahman is a tropical breed. They are largely found in the hot and wet tropics. This breed is very tolerant to heat. It originated from India. However, it is distributed worldwide, especially in the tropics where Brahman, the original Indian Brahman, have been crossbred with local breeds, resulting in breeds such as American Brahman, Australian Brahman, Thai Brahman, Pakistan Brahman and others. The breed Brahman has a very distinct characteristic where it has a hump behind its neck. Now another example of a popular beef cattle breed is Hereford, right, which was established in Hereford, West Midlands region of England. Now this cattle breed has brown body coat and a white face. Now, other than beef cattle breeds, we have dairy cattle breeds which have been bred and selected for high milk yield. Jersey being a popular example. Jersey is named after its place of origin, Jersey, an island near France. Frisian and Holstein are two other popular dairy cattle breeds. Frisian originated from the highlands of northern Scotland, while Holstein originated in Holland, 
close to 2000 years ago. Now, other than cattle, livestock covers also sheep. A popular sheep breed being Merino, right, is a breed of Australia and is found in extremely high number throughout New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria and Western Australia. Merinos are primarily grown for wool production. Cheviot is another sheep breed which originated in the Cheviot Hills on the border of England and Scotland. Cheviot wool has high desirable resilience. Dopper Dopper is a breed that was developed for the arid regions of South Africa. You can see from the picture that it actually has short light covering of hair and wool as compared to merino and cheviot. Right? It is one of the hardy sheep breeds that is hornless. The boar is an improved indigenous breed of goats. So we have now moved on from cattle to sheep and to goats. Right? It is a breed with some infusion of European, Angora and Indian origin. Boa goat is primarily a meat goat. Right? It is highly red for the purpose of obtaining good quality meat. Anglo-Nubian is another breed of goat which was developed in England by crossing British goats with African and Indian origin. It is more of a multi-purpose or all-purpose goat, useful for meat, milk and also hide production. Sanen is a dairy goat originated from Switzerland in the Sanen Valley. They are heavy milk producers and usually yield 3 to 4 percent of milk fat. Now this is a local goat or the Asian goat. This goat can be found popularly in Malaysia, Indonesia and the Asian region. What we just saw was a brief description of some of the popular livestock. If you are really interested, there are numerous livestock breeds. Take cattle for example, there are more than 250 breeds which are available. We only looked at about six. So for those who are interested, you can find out more about the characteristics and the differences between the livestock, between the different breeds of cattle, between the different breeds of sheep, between the different breeds of goats and other livestock. We will now move on to poultry. Now poultry basically covers chickens, ducks and turkeys. Chicken were first domesticated for the purpose of cock fighting in Asia, Africa and Europe. From there, it developed further for the production of meat as well as eggs. There are many classes of chickens, for example, the American, Asiatic, Mediterranean, English, Continental, French and Orientals. But basically, there are two main types of chickens. The layers, which are for production of eggs, and the broilers, which are for the production of tender meat. Now, Sussex 
is a good example of broiler chicken right while langshans cornish and leghorn are good examples of layers fish is another important agriculture commodity that is produced for the purpose of protein in particular the egyptians and the chinese started aquaculture around 2500 bc with the tremendous increase in world population i think humanity cannot just develop on deep uh, cannot just depend on deep sea fishing so aquaculture is becoming more and more important now it involves cultivating fresh water or salt water populations under controlled conditions in cages along river banks lakes sea ponds or tanks examples of fresh water fish are catfish and common carps of course there are many other species examples of marine or salt water fish are grouper and mackerel do you know that there is another popular industry which is booming currently in relation to fish farming right it is the ornamental fish or in other words aquarium fish malaysia is one of the largest breeder and exporter of ornamental fishes in the world now ornamental fishes fetch a very high price examples of ornamental fish are arowana and koi an average arowana fish can cost easily up to 250 usd this is a new business which is booming 